I'm going to do some um, Sakura Blossoms, uh, Balloon Smashes, um, inspired by another YouTuber who um, I really like her stuff. It's Michelle, Michelle Nagisa Art. Um, I'll put a link to her channel in the description. You should go and have a look because she does a great job. Uh, brilliant stuff. Anyway, um, that's my plan. I'm going to do that, but I'm also going to work them so that they're, the balloon smashes are in the background. And um, I'm going to use a stencil to bring forward a really crisp and clear um, petals and stuff and see what that looks like. Um, I don't know how it's going to go. It'll be fun to find out. So uh, let's get started. Give me a moment. Okay, so this is um, new to me, so I've never done this. So it's going to be a bit of an interesting experience. Um, but I'm going to lay down a white background. Um, I'm going to put the stencil out of the way. Um, actually, uh, anyway, just start. I'll explain as I go. So I'm thinking um, the background's not too runny, as you see. I wanted to hold its shape a little bit. Um, I'm thinking I'll put the stencil on top of the wet paint, which is not normally what you would do. Um, anyway, you'll see what I'm gonna do. Okay, so that's a bit more cool, isn't it? Um, and I might just touch here as well, just... Yeah, that worked well, that was a good idea. Um, I'm happy, I'm gonna leave that alone for the moment, and I'm gonna move on and try um, what I said I was gonna do with the stencil. Now, when I put the stencil down, inevitably, 
it's going to interfere with everything. Um, one second. I've never used this before. It, it looks very pretty. I'm hopeful it'll be everything I want it to be. Okay. Now, which way do we go with it? That way? Or that way? I think that way. And try to go reasonably centered. I'm just going to let it down. I'm going to let go. Okay, here's my plan. Paintbrush. I'm going to do the brown. I need lots of brown. Okay. Gosh, it's hard to see. I want it nice and loose like that. That's grand. There'll be a couple more spots, right? Um, let's move around the picture. Shouldn't be too many. Uh, there's some. Like that, okay. I don't want it to be too brown, I want it to be kind of diluted, so I don't like that, yeah. That's kind of nice. Okay, and then I'll hold there. That's kind of it. Okay, stop. Stop fiddling with it. Okay, I need another brush. Um, I'm going to go with uh, my pink. I'm going to do a lot of pink petals. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm just going a nice uh, light color because I'm going to be uh, layering the paint a little bit on this um, just to uh, see if I can make it look um, kind of more naturally colored, you know what I mean? Okay. And I know I'm being quite messy, but I don't mind that. I'm quite curious to see what this is going to come out like. Okay. Um, let me just see if I've missed any. I think I'm good. I'm just going to wash my brush. I will edit out the gap in between. back and I'm going straight in for my permanent rows and I'm going to do exactly what I've just done. And I kind of can't even see where the flower petals are supposed to go anymore because I've painted over them but I think there's some little bits here. All I'm looking for is that, um, is it pink, is it white, is it 
red what you know that lovely cherry blossom sakura blossom kind of um, um, look where it, it kind of throws a few different um, colors at you you know it's beautiful um, and I know they're not gonna hold the shape when I lift this off I'm not worried about that I don't want really want it to um, but that's the rose done and now I'm just gonna give the brush a quick wipe so, yeah. Going back in with the um, magenta. Okay. Just random spots, really. I don't know how this is going to go. Be interesting to see. Pretty happy with the. Uh, in theory, I'm pretty happy with that amount. Let's see. Okay, so the thing is that this has to come straight up. So um, this could be quite messy. I don't know how this is going to go or going to look. What I might do is just touch a smidge of uh, green in a couple of spots. not overdo it because it wasn't really part of the plan okay this has to come up and I'm hoping it won't wreck everything underneath it because everything should still be soaked right let's see up, 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 up. okay hold take that away okay I am back now let me just take the bubbles out of that because there's quite a few and see what we got. Okay, now the question is, has it worked? I don't know, but I'm going to uh now I'm going to um, try to trace them and draw them together. Actually, do you know what? I'll do the balloon smash bit first because it needs to be done. I'm just going to touch these again because I kind of stole the joy out of them a bit. Yeah, that's good. One here. They're really holding their shape better this time for some reason. Okay. I'm almost tempted just to touch this down here. I think I will. Yeah. Which makes me want to do another one there. Okay. And while I'm at it, just on the very corner. Um, okay. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Okay.
I think it's lovely. Um, okay, um, this was inspired by Michelle Nagisa Art. Um, she was doing these beautiful Sakura Blossom painting um, and I was very impressed and I really wanted to try it. And I've never done anything with like balloon smashes before. I think it came out great. Um, I'm going to take the camera around and I'll show you what it looks like from where I am and I think it works brilliant. I love it. Just so happy with it. It looks great. I'll show you now. Hang on. Take you in close for the wet look. Let me just see. And my camera is a GoPro. It doesn't really do up close really well. I might try my phone. Um, but I think this came out stunning. It's lovely. I'm really happy with it. For a first try, like, seriously. Um, there it is. All my equipment as well. <laughs> there you go.